Cowboys. I don't want to hear nothing about no fourth string quarterback. I don't care about that. That ain't our fault. Y'all hurt. We go out and play the game to win. We ain't want no sympathy for it. We, we ain't giving y'all no pity party. We don't care. Cowboy versus Steelers. We took the we took the W, man. But with that being said, bro, I got a funny video for y'all today. No. I was on Instagram and I asked people to send me funny videos, just like a video they could think of, think of off the top of their head that was funny. I got this video so many times, and just the title of this video made me want to watch it. Y'all, I don't care if y'all don't want to watch it, bro, I got to see this. I got to see this. It's a white guy. He speaks on his first black cookout experience. Boy, I got to see this right here. Because if you've never been to a black cookout, oh, man. Oh, man. But first, man, what's good, though, life gang? It's your boy. It's your homie. It's your... <laughs> Finish that, man. Finish that, man. Hey. We better check this out. I ain't going to waste y'all time. I'm ready to see this shit. I'm ready to see this one. Let's get it. All right, I'm going to start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. Yes, now, sir. with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people position. <laughs> yeah. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of, like, passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. <laughs> Anyway, about a week ago, get a call from what Buddy Mike. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. So I show up to the cookout. All right? As I step out of my picture. I just thought about that shit. Get hit in the face with a wet mop. Boy, that shit, I know that shit hurt, bro. I know that shit hurt. Come up, truck. I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. Right. As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great grandma and grandpa. And his Gotta meet the grandparents first. Them are the nicest ones. The grandparents are always going to be the nicest ones at the cookout. Now, when you start getting to the uncles and aunts and the cousins, oh, you're in trouble. You a chump. I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great grandma and grandpa and his 47 cousins. All right, which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, yeah. there's a long table where the food's, where the food, everybody's eating at. Okay. They bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. The head? I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. Well, they say the blessing, and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. Yep. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches round it off like this <laughs> with barbecue. Okay? And I'm going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at. <laughs> These two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties, with two uh -oh. different potato salads. Uh oh. All right. They say we want to get your your opinion on which one of these is better. Now. Oh, they taking them through the taste test, bro. Don't you? <laughs> Yo, they putting this man in the weirdest situations ever, bro. You got to judge between two aunties potato salad. That's tough. <laughs> that is tough. Boy, you said, oh, man. Oh, that's they tough. They said, we want to get your your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, apparently just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Uh -oh. Well, I ain't finna piss nobody off at this cookout. Hey, smart man. So I ate both of them, and I told them that they were just so damn good. Both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. Smart now, man. at this current time, I am almost in a food coma. 
because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. <laughs> and then his great grandmama, Mama T, that's what they call her. She comes up to me with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats, all right? <laughs> that barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness and she wants, she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie. Now, you gotta eat it. I saw Friday after next. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect <laughs> somebody's grandmama. You ain't have, you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not stupid. So as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna <laughs> piss off nobody, especially the head woman there. Cause that, that great grandma. Oh, bro, you got, hey, you better make room. You better make room. Oh, man, the pie though. She ranked up top. That's great grandma. You don't mess with her. That's facts. I finish this pie and I drift off into a <laughs> Caucasian kycosis of a food cup. <laughs> I did just like this right here. Just like this. I went, whew, I'm full. <laughs> as soon as I tipped my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. But somehow, I have... I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high stake spades game at an all black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? It's about to get real now. It's about to get real. You at the spades table. Oh my God. Boy, I done seen so many fights happen about the cards. The card games get real. I'm trying to tell you. And now the cards is in front of me, and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. What? I got no idea. All right, I'm white. We play go fish and cornhole. <laughs> All we did was... play go fish and cornhole. <laughs> Yo, I have no idea what the second game is, but that shit sound lame as hell. I got no idea. All right, I'm white. We play go fish and cornhole. All we did, cornhole. we got bored one day, literally cornhole. did the whitest thing possible, walked out. We probably call it something else. Is it another name for that, that cornhole game? It got to be another name. I think I know what it is. All we did, we got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk, all right, put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we <laughs> tossed it at each other. <laughs> no, man. He answered it for me. I did, bro, what the hell? What in the hell is that? over there found some plywood in the shed cut a hole in it put it on an angle and we toss it at each other that's huh? what we do i have no idea what spades is so as they give me the run around idea what the hell is going on with this spades game i really i look at my hand and i realize that i probably got a pretty decent hand well they asked me they said zach how many books you got which they had just explained this to me now i'm talking about just now let go I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock nines hit the top of the table. I've got every damn spade you could possibly have and three other aces. I said he had eight, oh man. <laughs> every damn spade you could possibly have and three other aces. Damn. Well, as I survived that round, <laughs> I go to get up, and one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder and say, hey, buddy, you want to go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they're talking about. Uh-oh. But I ain't going to piss nobody off. You got to understand, at this Man. point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not. It's the opposite now. You got to piss somebody off, doctor. You're going to get in trouble. But I ain't going to piss nobody off. You got to understand, at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this Cook out. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me. Okay? Now, 
I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently, bones oh. meant dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was hurt. Okay. Yo, they turned this nigga to a real black cookout, bro. They done bought out the shakers. They done bought out the dice, the dice games. Oh, man. This man say he lost $36 quick as hell. This means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning. Okay? And apparently when they yelled gator, that just code word for the white man loses because they just took my money and I just put some more down until I ran out of money. Which is fine. <laughs> Made it through that one too. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck, I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank, I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck. And I've got my truck in my sights. I am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave this place. But he better not say nothing about the dog. He better like, oh, I want, yo, what do you want to say? Now, I get to my truck. I put my hand on my truck to go open it. And there's a, like a sense of relief that comes over me. Like I didn't piss nobody off. Nothing went wrong. I went, Whew, I made it. Uh oh. Now, as I open my door, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. <laughs> the whole damn cook. <laughs> Yo! No, 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 no. No. Yo, look how scared he got. He thought it was over with. Look, look at look how I turned around. Shoulder. I turn around. <laughs> The whole damn cookout uh -oh. is behind me. Uh-oh. Everybody there is right around my truck. Mm -mm. With Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me and said, hey, buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday. You coming back? And I looked at him. <laughs> Bamboozled <laughs> on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, you damn right I'm coming damn. back. That's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever going to get and the nicest damn people. I scared yeah, shit. Sure. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. But at the same time, that's yeah. the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. Hey. I'm going back next week. Bet. I told him, I said, y'all y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, yo, hey, yo, hey, hey, whoever this dude is, bro, you my cousin. You my cousin after this right here, man. You my cousin after that statement. Hey, you want me to bring some ice because I ain't kicking, but hey, hey, this man, hey, he play every, every card right, bro. He played every card right. I told him, I said, y'all y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all want some ice or like or like some uh you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and bring him. You know, so he'll he'll feel at home. He got wife beaters and stuff. Yo, what y'all need? They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me and I. That's it. Yeah, we'll be there. That's it. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. Hey, real shit. nigga. Real nigga. Real nigga right there, man. Hey, whoever that dude is, he's my cousin now. Man, what the family guy is going on? But hey, man, hey, that's a real nigga right there, bro. Oh man, y'all, that's oh, that's hilarious. Oh man, yo, this man said I ain't pissing nobody off at this cookout. This man almost went in a food coma. Got Glocks poured out at the spade table. He shake the dice on him. Got now he hey he hey, he ain't Mama T. Pa, this man, hey, he played every car right, man. Hey, that's funny as hell right there, man. We need more of that right there, man. Especially at these times right now we going through, especially with this whole election. A lot of people speaking on how, how racist the country is. We, we, bro, we need stuff like this, man. This is what I love to see right here. I love shit like this, bro. But look, y'all let me know what y'all thought about that by the like or dislike button. If you white, <clears throat> if you white and you watching, bro, and you ever went to a black cookout, hey, talk about it in the comment section, bro, because I swear to God I'm going to be reading. I'm going to be reading them, boy, because, hey, that shit right there funny as hell. That's funny as hell, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, man. I'll go.